Hey guys, welcome back to another This Week in Star Wars. This is episode 3. Um, this was a big week this week with the trailer coming out, which we actually called out last week. We expected the trailer to come out this week. Um, if you don't believe us, go watch the episode. So, the trailer came out on, what day was it? Wednesday? Wednesday, I think. Probably. Wednesday. And basically the rest of the week was just people talking about the trailer. Because it was, even though it was just a teaser trailer, they definitely gave us a lot of stuff yeah, to talk about. Lot. Yeah. I guess no Vader, but unless if you think about it at the end, but definitely a bunch of other points to talk about. You know, that first, that new Inquisitor who was on Tatooine. Um, and you know, do you know the shot with the first, with the Grand Inquisitor, that first shot with him? Yeah. If you look in the background, you can see the fifth brother on the left and that oh, new really? Inquisitor on the right. So they're all three of them are on Tatooine. So yeah. there must be a pretty big reason if all three of them are going to Tatooine. Well, they're going to Tatooine to find Kenobi properly. Yeah. But I guess I wonder how they're going to do it because they must... Because if it was like... It's something that draws them towards Tatooine. Yeah. Because they know he's there. But, but it, they can't know it's Kenobi, right? They've got to know it's oh, some powerful Jedi, right? But then if it, if, it was, if it was some powerful Jedi that requires all three of them, surely Vader would go. You know? Yeah. Actually, but um, I wonder if they do anything with Arvid and not wanting to go to Tatooine because of his past and shit or maybe Palpatine doesn't want him to go to Tatooine so he remember in, in case he remembers his past you know something like that yeah that's true because surely Vader, Vader goes to Tatooine he'd go and take out Owen and Bree Lars right he'd do anything maybe. to maybe uh, I'm not sure because he doesn't he wouldn't be thinking about them if he goes to Tatooine wouldn't he? I don't know. He spent he spent time with was well, mother's graves there. He spent time with Padme there. Yeah. Maybe Palpatine doesn't want him to go to yeah, Tatooine. That's, that's very true. Um. Yeah, I saw this thing. Like, what if like we get a scene of Obi Wan like apologizing at Shmi's grave? That's, I'm just making like, a video on that about how that's what I want to oh, see in really? the because. Uh, oh, be oh no no! I just made the video about. What do, um, who was, oh, I can't remember. I think it's in the video I'm making now. It's about, uh, my, like, top five expectations from the show. And one of them is, because there's that scene in the comic where he apologizes to Shmi's grave. Exactly. And I think that would just be great in live action. I was thinking maybe at the end of the trailer when he's looking down and looks up, maybe that's at that point. Maybe that's at that point. Yeah, that's a good I mean, that's an obvious thing for the writers to do. It's already been written. It would be such a huge miss if they don't do that. Yeah. And that would just be so emotional. Yeah, that, that would be... Because in the first episode, I'm sure they're just going to set the tone and show how, how gloomy this period is for Kenobi and how he's feeling. So this would... Yeah, exactly. That is a perfect way to show how how he feels, you know? Mm. Um, yeah, no, I agree. And then later in the trailer, right, we see, we see that kind of... People were thinking it was a Stormtrooper originally, but then after you look into it a bit further you can see it it's more likely to be a clone trooper and that yeah the, the armor more resembles what the clones wore. yeah and the fact and that it's also, blue there's hints of blue on it the torso part yeah rex would be a great addition to the show i think rex would be a great addition to the show especially with um tamira morrison oh yeah i mean there were, well, even um neil mcgregor and was talking about how they were how they went to the boba and mandalorian set when they were doing their screen uh, trial and stuff, so I'm sure they oh, would have yeah. interact. Yeah, so I'm sure they would have interacted and yeah, all that stuff, you know. So oh, that, that would be awesome. Because what you what you were telling me earlier this week about how there needs to be a reason someone needs to stay on Tatooine whilst Kenobi goes and leaves, right? They well, he's not going to take Luke he with him, right? Just leave Luke there by himself. No, no, no. They've got to yeah. So maybe maybe Rex stays. April. Yeah, he's maybe more than. What if it's Rex, like, and Ahsoka or something? Yeah. And we, and we see, like, a young Ahsoka during this time. That'd be pretty crazy. That'd be pretty crazy. I, uh... Another thing, um, that people will see, or people have been theorizing that Mace was in the trailer, Mace Windu. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that, but he's definitely capable of protecting Luke whilst... That's true. But then I also think if Kenobi was leaving to potentially go and find Vader or whatever, Windu would 100% go with him. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't be able to stop Windu from wanting yeah, revenge. No. 
But if Mundu's in the show, he has to die. Or I, I was thinking about it earlier. Um, if Windu's in the show, they could like end it like saying like how they did with the Book of Boba Fett, like Mace Windu show coming next year or whatever. And it's one season, and like the last episode is him Death. fighting Vader and then gets killed or something. See, like, that would just that would be crazy. That's great fan service. That if, if, if that if that happens in the show, no one's gonna dislike the show, right? But they just they won't do that. They don't. They won't do that. Yeah, they don't have the the courage to do that like, even. Like Disney, a company who just wants money and money and money grabs, that would get them so much money. Like Star- fan service yeah. gets money. Spider Man, uh is it Far From Home? Just yeah, Far From Home. Just showed or was it No Way Home? No Way Home, sorry. Home. Just showed that, you know, if you do fan service, they was the biggest movie of all time in America, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So if, gosh, that would blow up the Kenobi show. Yeah, it's- it's, yeah. yeah, they got it. Like, if they did something big like that, because I'd rather have Mace than Cal Kestis. Yeah, because I, I, I don't think because I can't, I like it when in Star Wars when there's something big that draws new people to the show and people yeah. who like who are like yeah I made have watch the movies but we never watch the show and if something big like that happens oh yo Mace Windu's back bring more people to the show it just makes it even bigger and better but they won't do that they won't do it but that'll be it'll be awesome yeah. Um, because also people were thinking that that was Echo in the in the trailer. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. No, I mean, because if you see one of them, right, you have to see the rest of the Bad Batch. Yeah. So uh, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think would they intertwine it that much with the Bad Batch coming out right now. Might be too. Well, I, it could set up a new season of the Bad Batch. Maybe there's a time jump. I don't know. Maybe there's a time jump. Yeah. Because will they start the Bad Batch right after Camino? Spoilers. Camino gets blown up. Um. No. Maybe, maybe. Because I reckon in in the show, Bad Batch season two, I reckon they'll still have the arc with arc with Crosshair being in the Empire. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, it might be too many characters. Do that. Yeah, that'd be interesting. It might be too too many characters to explain. Because I guess people who watch the Kenobi series might not watch the Bad Batch, and they'll be like, "Who yeah, is this?" You know. That's, really that's why Mace is a great option. You know. The thing is, you're not going to have a show like this without a big cameo. Especially with them over the last few years in Bad Batch with like Cad Bane killing back and Mandalorian Luke and all that stuff. To be fair, Va- Vader is that cameo, you know? Vader's going to bring people to the but show. Vader, but Vader's arguably a main character of the show. Therefore, he's not a cameo. You need that that person like Mace or like Rex who's going to draw those fans yeah. in. I think, I think, yeah, I think Vader and Rex would be enough. Because Rex yep. brings back all the Clone Wars, you know, people who were watching Clone Wars growing up. And then Vader, everyone loves Vader, you know, one of the best villains of all time. The you best know? villain of all time. Yeah. And like, imagine, imagine if there was a scene with Vader and Rex. Yeah, I made a video on that actually, a while back. Uh, I did... don't know how that would work, but... Yeah, I would like that. E- even if they That's just, cool. even if they just saw each other and then, well, because Vader doesn't doesn't know that i mean no rex doesn't know vader as anakin right no like but i think if rex he, was wearing his armor vader will be able to tell oh yeah sure. and rex rex has had the ability to oh the thing is though if we see ahsoka kenobi knows who vader is and at this time ahsoka doesn't he doesn't learn until five seven years later sure. that's well that's a big that's a big conflicting series there actually maybe yeah, maybe obi-wan doesn't have the heart to tell him but i don't know how i feel about that her i mean mm. but rex yeah rex because rex has the information to put together the pieces that vader is anakin but he doesn't oh, yeah. so yeah actually we might not see ahsoka i wouldn't be surprised if they don't to be honest i'd say more likely to see mace than ahsoka it, yeah but yes. But they love using the characters that the new shows are coming out because they can so easily just put like get Rosario Dawson in. It's not like they have to cast someone new and blah blah blah, you know? Yeah. But this is also arguably the last time they can really use Mace as well with Samuel L. Jackson being. He's what, 75? Really 75, yeah. Pretty old. So they'd probably use a bit of de aging, but. Yeah, it's like the last time, I think. Yeah. I think if you don't see him here, we won't see him. Well, at least at least for 10 
10 years until they can do all the deep fake stuff perfectly, I guess. Yeah, well, honestly, deep fake for. Yeah. The loop was fine, actually. I guess so. he wasn't, like, fighting. I guess there was that scene of him training that was pretty good. Yeah. But, but to be, did you see the. um? Oh, someone made a video on Kathleen talking about season 2 of Kenobi. Oh, I doubt it, eh? I don't know, there was no real talks about it. It would be great, but. It'd be great, I'm not sure if they'd do it, though. There's also, like, 12 well, seasons. There's what, sorry? This seems like a one-off season. Yeah. Opinion. Is it six or four episodes? They haven't stated yet, eh? They haven't stated. I think it'll be six, though. Six would be good. Would be good. Six um, one-hour episodes is like a trilogy. Right? That's true. So good. We don't really need to talk about other Grand Inquisitor. I think it's been talked about enough. Yeah. But I saw how someone was saying that, you know, everything in the, in the Rebel show is kind of elongated, you know? Vader, definitely. Um... You know, the life tables are thinner, you know, uh, yeah, Yoda, if Yoda you, looked funny. If you, still, if you still think about it, um, they've done his species before in Revenge of the yeah. Sith. Why not reuse yeah. that model? Yeah. If they put his, if they put his um, face paint on, like they did put the guy in Revenge of the Sith, he'd look great. And yeah, maybe. People have already, already done that. Already yeah, it looks good. That. Maybe it's, it ma good. Maybe he's in too much combat that they can't do that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, but I'm sure it's just like prosthetics that they put on or some makeup or something. Yeah. Um. I'm... And there was that stuff about the Kathleen Kennedy changing the script, eh? Yeah. How she um. Why well, she yeah. she said it was too dark and not hopeful enough and scrapped it for a more hopeful script, which. Yeah. Because someone what, needs to get rid of it. Years ago, we found out that they had to rewrite the entire script. They delayed it for one year. They delayed it for a year because of that. I mean, and I'd... It's true that she fully stopped it because it was too oh, dark. I would delay it if it was a bad... I wouldn't mind a year delay if it's a bad script, but... but... If it's because it's too dark and not hopeful enough, like, this time period is... Yeah, it's, it's, dark. it's a dark... It's, 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 be... It is the dark times. Literally. Yeah, the dark it times. Is very, it is dark. It's meant to be there, like... Yeah, I hope... I wonder if we'll... If anyone will talk about that from the show. Or the script writers about... The, um... What the other script was about, because that oh, that'd be great to know. Like I I don't want this show to be uplifting. No, like, I don't I don't want to come out of it feeling like yay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're not meant to. Like, you're not meant to. I want to come out feeling sad. I want to come out. Like, cause I guess Alec Guinness is Obi Wan is more hopeful, and yeah, that's fair. So if if yeah. that's the end of the show, that's fine. But, but if it's okay, but that can be character development. At the start, he should be depressed. He should be. I th which I think he will be. I think he will of, be. Yeah. She has too much and power, man. She really does. Yeah, she has too much power. I think. When do her contract up? Get, get her out, put Dave Filoni in her spot, and it'll be great. I wonder when her contract's up. Well, she re signed a year ago for like five more years. Was that a year ago or was that a few years ago? I feel like that was longer. Yeah, I think. Really? Or was that two years ago, maybe? Damn. Who signed her? George should, George should still have some input. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have sold everything. I wonder why he did. What is George going to do with a billion dollars? Yeah, but I doubt he owned 100% of it. Oh, okay. He would have had investors at the start, I'm sure. True. But damn, bro. He shouldn't have sold everything. Um, there was also something, an article that the Book of Boba Fett increased audience viewers every episode. Oh, really? So it got more popular and popular every episode. Each episode, after each episode was coming out, people were joining the show, you know? See, that's exciting. So, you know, that's what we should expect with Kenobi. But that also shows, you know, Book of Boba Fett. I'd say it'd be less popular than a Kenobi show, but it's still pulling crazy viewership, you know? Well, this this Kenobi show should realistically be the biggest Disney Plus show to date so far. Bigger than any Marvel show. Should it be, should be. It should be on par with... Um, um, if it was a movie, it would be on par with No Way Home. But it should be up there. It should be close. It, it should be up there. It should... It should be the honestly the biggest content of Star Wars we get for the next two, three, four years. Well, it's been the biggest. It would, would have been the biggest since Revenge of the Sith. This this should be bigger than the sequels, you know. Yeah. I guess the thing the difference between the sequels and this, kids aren't gonna. I mean, young kids aren't gonna watch this, whereas eight, seven, eight year olds are gonna go watch a, a new Star Wars trilogy, you know. But seven, eight year olds aren't gonna go watch the Kenobi show, you know. That's the difference, and that's what Disney care about. Where they shouldn't, you know. Would have you preferred this to be a trilogy or the 
six episodes or an hour. A trilogy? Movie trilogy? 100%. More money. Like, they make more money, but they put more money into it. Yeah. I'd, I'd wait six years for a trilogy, 100%. They they're were originally going to do a movie, but it changed to a um, TV show. Yeah, that's true. What do you think about um, Qui-Gon being in it? He has to. They set that up perfectly at the end of the Revenge of the Sith. You know, Yoda goes, oh, I'll teach you how to commune with your old master. Yeah. If we don't see that, that is just a joke. Just like that's, and- just like the grave thing. That's a free, already been written, free storyline. Just put it in. And this is in. the last time probably in live action we'll be able to see that storyline. You think? Well, you and McGregor, will he come back? I'm sure he okay. would. Okay, so you think they're going to revisit something maybe five years earlier than this? Actually, yeah, no, they, I doubt it. Unless it's, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Because they'll get to a point maybe ten years or so where they leave the Skywalker saga completely. And be like, okay, we've done a bunch of, uh, like, off series, we're done. And then it'll be Grogu in 100 years in the future, you know? I truly believe that. Yeah, oh, yeah, or I they'll go back to an old Republic, which, future, for sure. 100%. Video on that no, coming soon. With, with the sequels, I think they're focusing on Grogu and what's going to happen there. 100%, they have to. Yeah. Because I did hear a, um, a thing that they're planning on doing another, another trilogy post-sequels of Rey beginning jedi order i would hate that see i quite like that i think they they deserve a chance to, to yeah true to try again but it's just not gonna it's just gonna get the same hate as the sequels i reckon yeah i mean unless well who really who well. is the enemy in that show it's not a sith that's gonna be saying it's always jedi v sith this they can't do the same oh somehow palpatine survived they can't they can't pull that crap again you know no, they can't so yeah. they got to do something else maybe like the best thing to do is there'll be some other Sith lineage but then like they don't have to introduce it in a way they can't just believe they can't just do oh there's, there's been this Sith lineage out in the unknown regions for all this time we didn't know come on come on you got to do something better than that yeah un- unless maybe they've been really fleshing out like the High Republic era or something like that if they introduced this big clan or this big Sith Empire that's deep in space or something like that yeah. and then five years later then they introduced it or yeah with like the High Republic they... the problem with the High Republic is that dude I believe there were no Sith for um, a thousand years and I can't just do a High Republic movie and be like oh yeah we weren't we weren't meaning and then and then, and then fight like some other dark side clan I can't just be like oh yeah and the and the prequels who we were just meaning no Sith no 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 dark side users. I mean, no Sith instead of dark side users. You know. You know. You do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. So I don't know. All right. I think we'll leave it there. It's been 18 minutes. Um. I w- it probably will be a dry week next week <laughs> after the trailer. I doubt there'll be too much to release. Hopefully, there's, there'll be more stuff to talk about the trailer when new stuff comes out. There've been a lot of lot of new interviews with. Um. You're McGregor, Hay- Hayden Christensen, and Kathleen Kennedy. So there'll be plenty of stuff to talk about. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, and we'll see you next week.